All right, what's going on everybody? It's Ethan here and I am outside of Moab, Utah in uh, some BLM public land and today as you can see I'm at the Corona Arch Trailhead and I will be hiking this trail here starting from right here up first to Bowtie Arch and then to Corona Arch and then back to the trailhead. Uh, it's only a mile and a half to see both arches so three miles round trip really looking forward to this hike this is uh, my first time in moab in over a year so i'm excited to be back here and i am absolutely here during the off season which is also great because this is my first time being in moab during its like true off season it is uh december it's mid-december right now and it is a little chilly it's about 30 degrees right now it's not too bad with the sun out it actually feels pretty nice but um, there's no snow or ice that I've seen anywhere around here and it should be pretty cool and it's also a Tuesday which means that you know you combine the fact that it's December and it's a Tuesday and there's really nobody here I mean, anybody who knows about Moab, Corona Arch is a pretty popular little hike. It's really close to the town, and it's uh, not a national park, so you don't have to pay. And really easy to get to, so a lot of people hike it, but as you can see, there's only one other car in the parking lot right now. And, um, I mean, you can see how big that parking lot is. This trail can get pretty crowded. And there's even another parking lot for the campsite over there that is often used for people hiking this trail. But as you can see, it's virtually empty out here today, which means that I should pretty much have this trail all to myself, which I'm very much looking forward to. So anyway, I'm going to start the hike in. Should be a relatively easy hike. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. All right, well... Really shortly after starting the hike, you just climb a small hill and then you have to cross these train tracks. Um, nothing too special, but I just thought it was really cool the way that these rocks were cut out to get these uh, tracks built through here. I mean, that is pretty cool looking, I think. But, yeah, I mean, he... The trailhead's literally like right down there, and I uh, just hiked up here to get to these train tracks and pretty much still just started the hike, so. But I thought that was cool enough that I wanted to point it out. All right, well, I'm up out of that slot canyon and into a more open area, which is just gorgeous out here. Really cool. see for miles from this vantage point <clears throat> and so far this trail has been very easy to follow they have these little lines painted on the rocks so you always know exactly where to go but yeah I'm in a little bit of a basin right now it looks like and Uh, so far the trail's been pretty easy a little bit of uphill nothing too bad I think I read at the trailhead that this hike has like 500 feet of total elevation gain so It's really a Pretty easy going hike for the most part There is apparently a part where you have to use like cables to pull yourself up a steep pitch of rock but other than that, it looks like most of this trail is pretty easy. Alright, well there's looking back at where I came from. Uh, really cool scenery out here for sure. I kind of want to pull up a picture of Bowtie Arch because I know that the trail kind of bypasses it. 
So I want to make sure I don't miss it because uh, from what I saw, it doesn't look like it's that that impressive of an arch. Corona arch, on the other hand, definitely looks like it will, like you can't miss it. But I don't think I have cell service right now, so I might not be able to pull up a picture of it. We'll see. But anyway, just continuing on some slick rock here. And so far, like I said, the trail's been pretty easy I'd say I mean up to this point this is definitely a family friendly kid friendly hike but like I said I know there's some interesting sections coming up with like ladders and cables that you have to pull yourself up you know what <laughs> if this is the cable that they're talking about then this is totally a kid friend I mean if this is what they're talking about that you have to hold hold the side of these cables i mean i'm standing here right now and it is no problem at all so if this is what they're talking about then this is definitely still a kid-friendly trail i mean i'm not i don't have my hand on the cables at all and there's really no need to and matter of fact there's corona arch right there so I may have passed Bowtie Arch already. That's kind of what I was worried about. We'll have to see. But that's definitely Corona Arch right there. But I will get closer. Okay, so I was mistaken. That was another part with cables, but this is actually the part they're talking about. But I mean, that's nothing. I don't, I don't think there's really any reason that you even need to really use these cables I mean you can kind of use them for an extra extra hand I guess but there I just climbed up that section and that was that was not bad at all that really wasn't bad and it looks like here's that little ladder that they were talking about also doesn't look bad at all I don't understand why it wouldn't just have the trail go up and around but whatever I'll go up the ladder all right well I'm pretty much at the end of the trail getting a great view down there that little slot canyon and out beyond there's Corona Arch right there. I'll be hiking right up to it in a minute. But this is uh, Bowtie Arch. Why they call it Bowtie Arch, I'm not really sure. Doesn't much look like a bow tie to me, but hey, whatever. It's still pretty cool though. Uh, actually, I'm kind of, I'm a little more impressed with uh, Bowtie Arch than I thought I would be. And the pictures it didn't really look all that interesting but seeing it in person it looks pretty cool actually but I do also appreciate I always appreciate a good view and so I do like how this trail ends with some nice views out that way as well as getting to see these two arches All right, well, I'm right at the base of Corona Arch. And there it is in all its glory. And it's a, it's a pretty big one. I mean, it's not like massive, but it's a pretty sizable arch. This is at least, uh, I'd probably say 120 feet tall. And it's really hard to get a perspective in a picture or video, but when you're seeing them in person, you're like, oh man, these all these arches are huge way bigger than they look in the pictures but i do like that you can uh, literally just walk right under this arch a lot of the arches in the national parks and stuff you can't really do that with some of them you can but since this is just blm land you can kind of do what you want as long as you are being respectful but yeah, this is pretty cool. There's the, the base of the arch right there. And then uh, 
bow ties back over there and yeah pretty cool trail really good view at the end here i really like that view yeah not a disappointing hike at all and definitely you know this one is a would be a great hike to bring a great family friendly hike bring your kids uh, bring your dog uh, since you can't bring dogs in national parks bring your dog here this is uh just owned by the bureau of land management so it's pretty much just open to whatever you want uh there was a sign at the trailhead though that said there's no camping on this trail so but there wouldn't really be many good spots to camp out here anyway so at least not immediately next to this trail but yeah this is really cool there's some like uh some big holes in the rocks up there this is nice i kind of want to go a little bit further up so you know since it's all slick rock and wouldn't be doing any damage to walk over it i kind of want to go up around that corner and just kind of see what's there so i might do that real quick. all right well i hiked around just a little bit pretty easy to get around here and uh it looks like the rock's making like a i'm not happy face like he's not really he's not super angry it's just like you know, yeah, I'd rather not be doing what I'm doing right now. But anyway, there's uh, Corona Arch from the other side. And that nice view out in that direction. And then this is what I love about hiking out here in the desert in Utah. It's like every time you turn a corner, it's something entirely different. Come out into this bowl here. And there's some more big... You know big formations into the rocks over here pretty cool and i'll tell you right now if you look down here man this is what i'd call a drop that is like easily seven eight hundred feet just straight down so don't lose your footing over here if you decide to come over here I'm not going to go up any further than this, but you probably, I mean, I might, you could, it looks like you could climb up that crack in that rock and just keep heading up. It's all slick rock out here, so it's not like you're walking on that fragile soil that grows out here in the desert. But yeah, this is all pretty cool up here. I like it. It's a nice, nice little, pretty easy hike. All right, well, I'm heading back from Corona Arch, just passing by Bowtie Arch right now. And, uh, yeah, really enjoyed this hike. It's a pretty easy hike, which was also kind of nice for a change, considering all the really tough hikes I was doing over the summer and, you know, all the stuff I've been getting into in Colorado. It's been kind of nice uh, doing something relatively easy like this. But yeah, still, just as like every single hike I've ever done in Moab has, this hike has definitely delivered on the beautiful scenery and a couple of, one kind of cool arch and one really cool arch. So, no complaints, definitely a good hike. All right. Well, I um, if you look out there, you can see the Colorado River and the train tracks right there, which means I am pretty much back at the trailhead. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> about done with this hike. It was, uh, like I said, not too bad at all. Only three miles round trip, uh, a little less than 500 feet of total elevation gain. Pretty easy, definitely a family friendly, dog friendly, all that good stuff. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing this and not during like the peak season, especially not on like a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, Cause even given the fact that it's the middle of December, it's like 30 degrees outside right now. And it's a Tuesday. I actually did see three people uh, making their way up towards the arch as I was hiking back down here. So 
I could definitely see how this would be a very, very crowded trail uh, in like, you know, April, May, especially on the weekends. So if you can do this one on a weekday and do it during the off season, so that way you can have a more enjoyable and peaceful time out here. Uh, which I definitely did, despite the fact that I saw a couple of people on the way back. I got to hang out at the arch for uh, a little while, and I was completely by myself. It was nice. But anyway, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will be posting some more videos from Moab. So definitely check some of those out as well this is the first of a few hikes that i plan on doing while i'm out here so have a good one guys i'll see you on the next one